My colleague asked me to prepare a report in Microsoft Office Excel 2007 that answers different questions about product sales. This report is needed at a critical end-of-the-year business meeting for some high-level decision makers. The product sales data is listed in an Excel table in four columns, the category, the product name, the total sales for each product, and the business quarter. However, it's difficult to see broad trends and compare results in this format. The decision makers at this critical meeting want to compare the data in different ways. They would like to see the data in a simple report, like this, so that they can easily answer specific questions. And to top it off, they would also like a complete interactive summary of all the data, like this. Fortunately, I've heard that improvements to pivot table reports in Excel 2007 have made it much easier to quickly and efficiently analyze data and create powerful business reports. I decide to give it a go. Let me return to the original product sales data. To create my first pivot table report, I select any cell in the Excel table, click the Insert tab, click the Pivot Table button, and then click Pivot Table. Then I simply use the default values in the Create Pivot Table dialog box and put the selected data in a pivot table report on a new worksheet. The first question to answer is, what are the total sales for each category? At the top of the pivot table field list, Excel automatically lists each field or column from the selected table. In the pivot table field list dialog box, I select the category and sales fields, and voila! It was surprisingly easy to roll up the data. But what exactly did I just do? At the bottom of the pivot table field list, there are four areas. Report filter, column labels, row labels, and values each of which corresponds to the four areas of a pivot table report. When I select a field in the pivot table field list, Excel adds it to an area on the pivot table report. In this case, the category field, which is text, is added to the row labels area by default, and the sales field, which is a number, is added to the values area by default. The report filters and columns areas are not used, so they remain empty. Then, all of the sales for each category, along with grand totals, are automatically summarized in the values area as sum of sales. To format the sum of sales numbers as currency and round them up to the nearest dollar, I right-click any cell in the sum of sales column, click number format, click currency, and then select zero in the decimal places box. Very nice. Now, all of the numbers in the values area are formatted the same. I'm not good at picking compatible colors and designs, so I go with the new style gallery on the design tab in the pivot table styles group. It's so cool to instantly see the style on the worksheet. And it's a lot easier to choose the right one the first time. The next question to answer is, what are the top five selling products in the beverages category? I need to make a new pivot table report on sheet two and apply the same style that I used in sheet one by copying the pivot table report. To quickly select the entire pivot table report on the options tab in the actions group, I click select and then click entire table. Then I copy the table to a new worksheet by pressing control C on the keyboard, clicking the insert worksheet tab and then pressing control V on the keyboard. That went pretty smoothly. Looks like the columns need to be readjusted a bit. But just clicking Refresh on the Options tab in the Data group does this automatically. Now, to see the top five selling products in the Beverages category, I add the Products field from the Pivot Table field list. The Pivot Table report displays all of the products for each category, but I don't need this information right now. No problem. I can easily filter the categories and hone in on just the Beverages products. I simply click the Row Labels Filter button, clear Select All, select Beverages, and then click OK. I want to display just the top five products, so I right-click any item listed under Beverages, point to Filter, click Top 10, and then type the number 5. Now I have the answer to my question, what are the top five selling products in the Beverages category? I'm on a roll, but the questions keep coming. How did each product category do in each quarter? I keep the report on Sheet 2 and make a new pivot table report on Sheet 3. This time, I add the category, sales, 
and quarter fields to the pivot table report. Hmm, not quite what I expected. I want the data summarized. I wonder, is there an easy way to reformat the data more concisely? Maybe if I try out a different area. Amazing! Dragging the quarter field from the row labels area to the column labels area did just what I wanted. I have pivoted the report. The sales are automatically summarized for each category and quarter with the corresponding subtotals and grand totals calculated. My colleague also wants to see more detailed data for the meat poultry sales in the third quarter. No problem. Here's another great feature. By double-clicking a cell, in this case D10, I can drill down to specific details for each summary value. Excel then displays the details on another worksheet. To get back to the pivot table report, I click the Sheet 3 worksheet tab. Next up on the question agenda, what is the average, maximum, and minimum sale for the seafood category in the third and fourth quarters? In the field list, I select Product. In the report, I click the Row Labels Filter button, clear the Select All checkbox, and then select Seafood. Then I click the Column Labels Filter button and clear the Q1 and Q2 checkboxes. It's easy to isolate and filter the data in a report once I get the hang of it. Now I can add the calculations. I right-click Seafood, click Field Settings, click Custom, and then select Average, Max, and Min. I know the high-level decision makers will have a lot more questions. Let's get one step ahead of them. I keep the report on Sheet 3 as it is and make a new pivot table report on Sheet 5. I add all of the fields and then move the quarter field to the column labels area. Then in the pivot table field list, I drag the categories field to the report filter area. This way, anyone can quickly see one, several, or all of the categories at a time. For example, I can filter by condiments only, or see a combination, such as dairy products and grain cereals. Finally, the pivot table reports are done and ready for the big meeting. My colleague is very happy with the results, and so am I.